Hello world, my name is Jebediah, and welcome to episode 4 of Shantae. Last time, we made our way to Oasis Town, where we found Sky, who told us that the Golem Stone is in the Golem Mine. This time, we're going to head there. We just gotta get past all these scorpion women first. And still don't know what those are. Really tall ant lions. <laughs> as as before, I can just skip that one. There we go. <laughs> Heart. Basically, I just want to head back to the Naga fields. Oops, that was close. I want to head back to the Naga fields right up here. And just keep heading left. Through this tunnel thing. There we go. And if we head left from here, we find uh, more desert. But this one filled with scorpion men. Now they'll actually stop when you hit them. So I like to hit them first to get them still. And then do a spin drill kick combo. They're definitely the toughest enemies to come across. Should be almost there. Just gotta make it past this guy. And now it's night time. And here it is. But if we head over here, jump past these cactus, we can find a safe statue. One jump from the right spot. Get up there. Wrench, there you are. Can you get me into this place? I'm fresh out of ideas. Caw, caw. Ha, get it? He's a wrench. I mean, I guess we could have used an actual wrench. But thanks anyway, Wrench. Time to head in. Here we are. Ah, a couple of hearts. That's helpful. Gotta watch out for these rock guys, too. Ah, a full heal. Stop it. Get back here. Hmm, some stalag stuff. Both, both stalactites and stalagmites. Can't go that way. Do an elevator. Where does this go? Wait, what's up here? More rocks in the way. Oh, there's a warp squid, warp squid we can't get to. 
and some locked doors. So we can go through here and find our first warp squid from this dungeon. We can head all the way down and find this. Ah, magnet. Color changer. Magnet thing. So that's... So this dungeon's all about magnetism. I think if you're the same color as these guys, they'll zap you from below, but if you're opposite colors, you'll flip them over and be fine. Now that guy is repelled by us because we're blue. He doesn't like blue people. But we can head across here to find a one-up and a red thing. And now we can bring this guy to us and get a key from him. So what's the other way down here? Big pool of lava, huh? Well, I guess it's time to head back. But I think I want to be blue for this area. I can never remember what color I need to be. Nope. Going, let me go get red. It'll make going to that room a lot simpler. Because I can just run underneath all these guys and not have to worry. Uh, a stone golem. I'll take that. I got you now. There we go. Now we just have to make our way down this shaft. I get blue over here. And I need to become a monkey. To get up here. Some of these guys, huh? Wake up, you. Now we need this guy. But we can't affect them anymore from if we're blue. So what we gotta do is become a red monkey and climb over the blue changer. The blue pad. So now we can head bring this guy wherever we want. Head through heat down. We can head up here. Bring him out here. And get the key. Another key. But what was past him? Ooh. Another genie. Thank you for freeing me. Once I was the guardian of this labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. Down and back, huh? Or left. You can review the dance moves on your subscreen. Practice hard and never forget them. So 
now we can become an elephant. Who actually has an attack. So, and a real little jump. Now to leave this area, you need to be blue. And you can pretty easily just climb out as a monkey. If you can remember the right ways to go. Ow, oh, forgot about you guys. On the way back, you can actually jump up here. And walk over all these guys. Is that it? Nope. There's last one? Yeah. But now that we're an elephant, we can get through the rocks up here. So it stands to reason, if you can break rocks, you can break rock golems. See, if we just get this guy in the corner, we don't have to be red to get him. But there's this magnet man here. Why would the money uh, spawn all the way over there? Oh well. But at least now we've, we've got another key. But before I use it, down below us, I'm going to head this way first. Let me get rid of these red guys before anything else. Because they're guarding a warp squid. Warp squid number two. That's the right one. I want to be a monkey. So I want to head down here. And you can actually stand on this little tall, tiny, on this little tiny ledge. Even as an elephant. And get past these guys. Where are they? There they are. To get that first warp squid we saw. The elephant's not very fast, even while dashing. All right, Golem, I got you now. Ah, you've got a key in you. I think that's it. Ah, more elephant. <laughs> Can't jump that high. Let's see, red. Yeah, I'm good. I'm actually the right color this time. Another key. Lots of keys in this dungeon. <laughs> what are you guys hiding up here? A pot? Ooh, a pot with a life in it. A 
Let's get out of here. Hmm, there's no elevator and no way to get it to this level. I can't jump high enough. Elevator. Get back down here. Now it's time to head all the way back up. And now that we have the elephant, we can break those rocks at the beginning. What color do I need to be? I need to be... I need to be blue. Well, at least, at least I can head up here and grab the final warp squid. Is there any way I can actually do it? Well, I'm red. Yeah, there we go. If you're fast enough, don't even need to be blue. And that should be the final key we need. Time to head all the way, all the way down. And this elephant statue is the key we need. Now we can get across as far as stalactites. We can use a key to go through there. Head down a little elevator. Refresh your hearts if need be. And make our way through these rocks. Yoo-hoo! Golem stone! Come to mama! I'm onto you, Risky Boots. You're trying to rebuild the steam engine using all four magical relics. Well, well. You're a smart little tag-along. This single piece of golem stone is the only metal strong enough to hold the other stone's power. Once I have all four stones in my possession, I'll create the most powerful weapon this world has ever seen. Ho ho ho! What? I. Hmm, there seems to be a pattern forming. But we've got this golem. Big golem. We can do. Just run into his face. Which exposes his crystal. And then just... Kind of go back and dash back and forth across his head. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. And that's all we're gonna do. Next time on Shantae, we will uh, find out where we need to go next, basically. Stay tuned. <laughs>